Hello. Well, thanks for stopping by. Um, I know we're all trying to keep in touch with each other virtually, and I'm glad that you did that. I have a couple things to show you. Um, things that I'm doing to relax and stay sane during this period of um, uncertainty. And what I've been working on, so I happen to have them with me, are sticker by numbers. Very simple, easy to do, very relaxing. This one happens to be nature. And there's all different um, this is a beetle bug. Some birds. Some pretty flowers. And they're all, if you can see, they're all numbered. Just like a paint by number, but the stickers will go cover them t entirely. You can easily read the sticker numbers, but they will be covered entirely by sticker. This bird looks like a toucan. Butterflies. Fish. Rose. And they all, they all have numbers. And what you do is you take the corresponding number to the page. Like this is page number four. Is here. And these stickers on this side is all for four. For, for turn number five, it's all these stickers. For number six, there's quite a few. And a little bit more here for the six. Seven, there's only this much. Eight, looks like I've done. Eight. Nine, there's this. Ten, there's a little here. And here, that I've done. Eleven, there's all of these. 12 is just these, there's this line here, is what separates them. 13, more of 13, it's quite a big one. And then that tells you the, the patterns, what they show up with. I have the nature one, I also have an animal one. which I've done, basically the same principle. Click pop. Some chicks. It's like a bunny. And a um, bear. But see how it jumped from, this is page nine, this is page six, it's because I've done some and they're perforated so that you can tear them out. And let's see, there's more in this one. If this is not, you know, I found this very stress relieving because there's no pressure at all and they're big pieces and they're nice. If you want a little bit more of a challenge, I also have this. This is paint by sticker. This one happens to be cats. The pieces are a little bit smaller and they're it's a bigger book. It gives you you know, it's like it says, it's fairly simple, actually. Um, tips to get you started. And these are some of the pictures that you can do with them. Some of the kitties. This is a little bit more challenging. As you can see, there's a lot more stickers per page and they're smaller. Some of them are really tiny but as you can see they're 
lot smaller, especially when you get up into the eyes and things. Let's just show you a little bit more. The eyes and things are really, really tiny. But they come out very well. Um, I'll show you a few that I've accomplished. This looks like a cat and mouse. Another kitty looking at you. And then you have the stickers. And they're numbered. These ones here, um, they don't have a page number. I forget how I did this one. Oh, they're numbered here. So whichever one you find, then you would go back and um, do that. And a lot of times they'll show you, like right here. I'll show you a picture of the one that you're doing. It's quite a few stickers. So you know which to do. And you step you do them first. Like this one here, you would start with this kit kitty here. with this kitty here and you would go A, B, C, D, E, F and when you're done this all these go into this one kitty right there you can see the kitty oh so sorry all goes into this kitty here and when you're done it should look like this kitty here to put all those stickers on. That's how that works. And again, some of them are really tiny. And again, starts with this and ends with this. A little bit more challenging. Larger book, smaller stickers. I like to start small because I'm not as coordinated as some, but I did this, um, I had these from, um, I received them uh, from when I was in the hospital. Two of them I had already purchased myself, and then my daughter found the big sticker by cat one, and we wound up doing that one. And I'll just show you some of the ones that I've done so far. I did this one earlier today. Very simple. Tulips. The cactuses and the flowers. And I'm not very precise when I do it. I, you know, but it doesn't matter. It's, it, it still looks good. You don't have to be spot on with it. You know what I mean? Some fish. The sun, which everyone likes to see. A parrot. An elephant. Again, I'm not very precise with it, and it still comes out cute. A cute little giraffe. Darling little thing. Little moth. Some butterflies. The cat. This, I believe, is on the top of one of the books. Yep, this one here. So. You 
Not too bad. And there's a lot, you know, a lot of mistakes in mine, but you know what? I think it still looks good. No matter what. So, no pressure, no stress, which is perfect for right now. Relaxing. It's very relaxing to me. Koala. Snowman. And then I did some the big cats. This one here is a Siamese. Lots of mistakes on here, but you know, they're not precise. But you know what? Doesn't matter. It still comes out cute. Kitty walking on a book. I like that one. We also have a kitty on a piano. And then two snuggly kitties. Those ones I've done already. So I'd like to do one with you today to show you how easy it is. And hopefully you'll enjoy that. Let me just find a quick one here. My battery's running low. Hopefully, I can do, yeah, I'll do the little chicks. They are perforated so that you can And then I find out page number five. So I gotta find the stickers for five. There they are. I'm gonna start at the top. E1. This trick is finding them. And then just start by placing them on there. And if you make a mistake, like I just did, you can always pick it up. Try again. There we go. I actually am running out of time on this. Let me just pause for a second. I'll be right back battery. Okay, I just plugged me in because I was running out of battery. Okay, so where was I? E2. I just find it over here. Remember, I'm only looking for anything above that line. You can see that line or not. Yeah, it goes like this. Anything here is what I put on the chick. So E2, I'm looking for somewhere in here. This is where I have the most difficulty finding the stickers, to be honest. Closer to you. Let's see. Again, you don't have to be that precise, as I never am. <laughs> E4, because I'm going to go on the other side, right here. And I just got to find it. E4 is down here. Go. 
A6, which is right here. blatantly bad. There we go. And then this little metal one, E3. It's his eyeball. There we go. Just pop that in. Cue what is pie. E5, <coughs> excuse me, E5, E5 is over here, little beak, there we go, and I've got a head so far, very cute, let's try E13, there we are. Like I said, I'm not my challenge is finding the sticker. There we go. But it's very um it's very calming, it's not very stressful. And you get to see a nice picture come through. It's relaxing to me. E12. You know, I'm just doing a small one for you guys. But you can choose the big ones, the more challenging, more difficult ones. I prefer ones that I don't have to really think too much about. <laughs> I mean, I do concentrate a little bit, but it's mostly just for fun. And that's all we need right now. It's a little bit of fun. That's what everybody needs. A little bit of fun. E8. Okay. Now oh, here it is. Any closer, what a bit me. Okay. Oops. Boom, I broke the little tail off. That was a little too rambunctious. Perhaps. Well, I can just, because it's a sticker, we can just stick it on. No biggie. Go and just pop it down. No stress. The less stress, the better, right? That's what everybody needs. More fun, less stress. Oh, didn't like that one, did it? Stop down here. Unlike me. E11. I'm almost done with this one. Okay, so we got that far. We're looking for E11, which is here. Got it out when the phone rang. Okay, let's pop that on. One more piece, and we've completed a chick, and that is E10. It's a kind of a small piece, so I'm looking for kind of a small piece, which I'm just clueless. I know you're probably looking at this going, it's right there. Mm. I know, is the 11, E10? Yeah, see? 
I knew you'd find it before me. There we go. And this is the way it goes. It's a little strange. Oh, Dagnabbit. One second. That wasn't very good. There we go. And there's one chick done. Cute, cute, cute. Now we get to the other chick. And we'll start with E14. There we go. Then we'll go E19. Again, you really want something that's not going to be stressful because that's not what this is about. It's about relaxing, just focusing, trying to get things to have some, you know, have a little fun. You've got to, everybody's got to have fun. That's the main thing. E50. If you don't have fun, what do you got, right? Can't be all doom and gloom. Gotta have fun. C17. Oh, that's weird. A C in the middle of all the E's. Okay. Was that a misprint or? I don't know. Let's see. Is sixteen? Hmm. Oh, goodness gracious. Which I don't see at the top of my head. I'll just move on. I'll get to that one. Nope, it's E17. Because I don't see an E17 here. And that clearly says C17. Right there. You see that? But, bit of an error. They can't, everybody can't be perfect. But easy enough to fix. Because I'm sure you guys saw it before me. There we go. 18. There we go. Ooh, look at his little head. Cute. We need the beak. A16. There it is. Oh, he's got his little head. We just got to do his body. E22. Right here. E21. I like the big ones. <laughs> E24. 
E25. And last one, E26. It's over here. Last one. Oops. I think it's the last one I'm going <laughs> to have a little bit of an issue with. There we go. I'll get it. There we go. Done. Two little jigs. Thank you. I like them. And they were fun to do. I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. But uh, like I said, easy to do. You can take the... Um, it even says ages seven and up. I guess I can do that. But there's all different ones you can try online. Um, this one I happened to get. I didn't get this one online and I didn't get the other one online. I don't know. Let's see. Okay, so this one and... Sorry, this one here. I did not get online. I can't remember where I got them. I think it was a catalog or something that I got these from. I just thought they were, they looked like very fun to do. And so I got them. Um, and they came in very handy. Um, when I was stuck in, I had to, out of the hospital. This one here, my daughter got me. I'm not positive, but. I believe she got this in the actually hospital gift shop um, at Mass General. So, but I'm sure you can find them online. And uh, just takes a few minutes to to look it up. Oh, it looks like they have quite a few. Let's see. Lots of different ones. Hmm. Music iPhone. Oh, music icons. Wow. It's wonderful. Beautiful bugs. Wow. Under the sea. Zoo animals. That looks like dinosaurs. That looks like some kind of fish. Lionfish. pieces. It's like Egypt. I'm not sure what that one is, but looks like there's plenty of them and all of them are, I don't know if you can tear these ones out. Yeah, you can actually tear the sticker pages out of this so you can share. And like I said, the actual pictures have perforations so you can tear them out as well. I really enjoy it and I hope you did too. This one it just says, well, US, it says, yeah, sorry, you can't see that. Right here, fourteen ninety five US. So, I enjoyed it, and I hope you get a chance to do something fun because everybody needs to have fun, especially this time. It's not all doom and gloom out there, there is fun things to do. Uh, Skype with your um, their friends, family, you know, try to interact that way. Um, 
you can take advantage of the different activities that they have. Um, you can even make your own activities with the, your children. Use um, spaghetti, the long spaghetti, and uh, mini marshmallows, and just put them, like put the spaghetti here and marshmallows here, and say, you know what, let's see what you can build with the spaghetti and the marshmallows just sticking them together and see what things they come up with. You know, something the kids can do. Um, it's just a multitude of things out there and a little research, you know, well, you know, might be very helpful. Um, but keep it fun, keep it light and uh, stay positive. And that's all we need to do. Take care of one another, love one another. And uh, I hope to see you again soon. Thanks. Be well. Bye-bye.